Hello everyone, welcome back to Positron Plays Shovel Knight Plague of Shadows. Why the hell am I in Pride More Keep? Pride More Keep. Uh, well, fortunately, this is one of the games I haven't built up a backlog of video recording yet. And thank you to a commenter, uh, Artman40, on my previous video saying you can actually go in here. I mean, I'm actually using that lob, uh, for the float bomb here. Um, but yeah, so I was wondering, like, you know, I noticed I was missing a coin here. I'm like, where the hell is it? You can go here. What you actually have to do is kind of line yourself up and just wait a second. You kind of figure yourself in there. Um, it's actually really not clear. I thought you had to press a button or something to go in there as Shovel Knight, so uh, when I couldn't do that, I was very confused and figured, oh, you know, you just can't get in there. Um, but yeah, so I've been corrected on that. I almost fell off the platform there. So thank you very much for that. I would have missed this entire area. It actually seems like it's pretty important because there's a chest here which used to have Chester in it. Yeah, and he is still here. Yeah, this is super, super important. I'm so glad I went back for this now. Or the beaker is stuffed in a bag. Chester's always got the swag. Hey, nice relic, pal. You know, I could take that off your hands. Give you something a little more interesting. Sure, Chester. Oh. Opponent explosion with a far reaching radius. We trade the, uh, the flare wand for it. Yeah, sure. Very cool. So that answers where Chester is, also. Make sure this relic finds a nice home with a respectable collector. <laughs> That's actually interesting. So, canonically, are like we here before Shovel Knight? We must be, right? That's that's very interesting. So we have this now. Oh my! That is quite the blast. That is incredible. So I don't think we return to map. Yeah, we lose all the stuff here. So, I will just do a quick junk part, just again, showing up, you just line yourself up, and then Plague Knight will fit himself in there. Yeah, so I'll just, uh, do we have to fight the boss if we go to the end of this stage? I don't know, I'll just do a quick jump cut here, and uh, we'll be back at the map in a second. Okay, and we're back. Um, I just went back to town, I spent some of the money, um, we have the, I'll show it off, we have the Cascade Bomb, I think it's called now. And this gem just showed up. I have no idea what this is. Oh! Oh, I better switch bombs. I don't want this um, to show off right now. I'll show that off in a second. Well, you kind of see it there. Um, I didn't know this was a thing. So we have this, like, auto-scroller here. Oh, I, I can't quite get the, uh... I almost feel like I should maybe be using the float here for these, but, uh... Go with the standard for now. Yeah, I didn't know this was a uh, thing. This auto-scrolling section here. We kind of just have a chance to get more uh, gems and money. A lot of money, actually. I was kind of hoping to go up there, but I'm curious what's in uh, these. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's a pink gem in those. In fact, this might be a pink gem in both of them. Find out. Might have to use the uh, lob casing to get that one. Or the uh, the float casing rather. Yeah, it is another pink gem. Nice. That's cool. I don't remember that from the original. It must have been in there. But now we actually have a little more money even. So let me see if I can buy anything else. I oh, could also buy the. Uh, tracer powder. What was this other one? Oh, sentry fuse, okay. Yeah, so the, um... Oops, that's the wrong button. Switch back to a bounce, and so the tracer powder does this. Yeah, puts out those things. However, you can't throw any more bombs until those flames are off screen, so... It's a little difficult to use, and this one does uh, these fires, but same... Thing. You can only do one, you can't throw any more until you're off screen. So I'll play around with that a bit and see if I, uh, if I'm any good with it. I'm gonna go to the triple pond just to see if anybody is here. Um, nope, just this guy. Definitely nothing here, boss. I did my most thorough check, should we move on? Well, what if I. Hmm. 
Oh, sorry. Well, now let's just go for a swim. Oh. Okay, let's not go for a swim. Are you okay? No, you have a strict no touching rule, but I had to jump in and save you. Please don't blow me up. Oh, my bad. Alright, so. I actually lost my potions doing that too, so don't do that. Now, let's go to Spectre Knight. Prime your potions. Alright, no secret over that way. Very pink themed explosions here. Well, that's interesting. When we hit those a Shovel Knight, they, uh, they bounced. Now they just explode. Yeah, so I feel like these bombs are probably pretty powerful, but if I miss, it's uh, a real downer. Yeah, especially if I get the long fuse going. Might be best to use the short fuse here. Oh, jeez. Wow, I can't believe I made it out of there. Um, let's go with sh uh, quick fuse on this. There we go, we got a... Uh, health tonic there. Yeah, I'm not sure how much damage this does exactly. Because unless it's like a really huge amount, I feel like it's really not that good. Oh, that's a bomb. Oh, jeez, these are all bombs. I guess they can touch the fire, too. Kind of like my regular bombs, though, to be honest. That is nice when they charge into the fire, though. Uh, yeah, I think we want to go up, right? Probably a secret up here or something. Do you remember these ghosts? I wonder if, can we kill them? Oh no, we can just same same deal. Oh, that had a ghost pop out. Taking a lot of damage here. That is very very good against skeletons. Actually works really well against this guy too, actually. There we go. Yeah, I'm kinda digging it. The extra damage uh, hit is pretty nice. Oh, so there's a uh, coin stuck in the wall there. Yeah. There oh jeez, a lot of frogs. Fortunately, I'm pretty resilient with all these potions. I think the uh, the trick with the, the bullet burst is that I can't actually hit blocks above me. That's gonna be like, I can't get back from that if I go down that way. That's not a pit, is it? That, oh, I shouldn't have gone back here. Well, take care of these again. Yeah, because if I go down this way, that's going to be a pit. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Oh. Alternate path, or...? If I can get a bomb down there, there we go. What is that? Phase locket. Oh, something else for Chester. Okay. Well, that's actually very important. We just have to find him again. I don't think we can go to the same place to find him. Um, that's almost killed me. Yeah, the bullet burst showing its worth there. Hmm. 
Do I have to get to shoot something in there? Oh, I, I had it there for a second and I fell. Well, now we get a chance to at least see what's up um, this other section. Okay. Ooh, geez, don't break that. I think I'm gonna switch back to my regular bombs here, though. I'm just I'm so much better with having more bombs to throw. It'll be interesting to see how long it takes to kill this guy. Yeah, I don't know. That fire isn't that strong. Yeah, so what's this way? Very mysterious. There are coins this way, too. Yeah, so let's go, let's go back down to that other area, though. This is, this is weird. This is definitely new. Um, unless I'm just totally forgetting this from Shovel Knight's campaign, but I don't think so. Actually, I'm gonna use some tonics here. Oh, I was saying before, the downside of the bullet burst is we can't actually break up, I don't think. Yeah, see, I think if we use, um, it's all around us. Yeah, see, that's actually really important. weird just to think that you know his basic toolkit is so good it does have some obvious advantages though I might want to be floating here yeah we actually don't want to kill this guy until I get my money There we go. So now, how do I get these? Oh, there we go. I got it. Um, well, that's that's a problem, though. Oh, jeez. Oh, now I got crushed. <laughs> Fortunately, I didn't lose too much money there. That's pretty funny, though. We least I know how to do that now. Actually, probably could just jump right over this guy, but he does, he does drop some money, doesn't he? So what I should be doing is using my, uh, my long fuse. I'm gonna use regular bombs here. Oh no, he just dropped, uh, turkey. Alright, we'll just throw some bombs down here, take care of these guys. Yeah, so let's use this. Getting actually have that. I am low on tonics here, though. Be a little careful. All right, let's. Uh, I'm saying I was gonna go back to float, right? So let's actually do that. Oh, that definitely did not do what I wanted it to do. Um, I have to reset this room, actually. So actually, it's a little trickier getting those in there than it would seem. All right. Okay, maybe it's not. All right, I want to go down here now. That was extremely close. Nice. Okay, is this supposed to bring me back up and around then? Oh, yeah, it does, I bet. Whoa! Did not expect that. Oh my goodness. Got him.
Alright, and there's a green coin here. So we've seen these before. This must just shoot me back up. Uh... Nice. Okay, so that brings me back here. Now I can go up. Very cool. So I do have to go through the dark section. I gotta deal with these frogs. Yeah, I don't know if the, uh, the float is kind of the newbie way out, but definitely s seems the uh, easiest to control. Or the easiest to make sure that you don't uh, get yourself killed. I want to make sure I'm not missing any coins here. It's easier said than done in the dark. Alright, there is a coin in the dark, I see. Unfortunately, I can't kill these ghosts. I need a flash here. I can kind of use the sparkles from the float to uh, see where I am, though, if I ever lose track. Secret passage. Um, I remember this from Trouble Knight's campaign. I think I, I have to float here. More money? Oh, sneaky skeleton. We have the 60 coins necessary to unlock more uh, items as well, so that's pretty cool. I'd say there's definitely something up to the left. Oh, just need a better jump to get up there, though. There we go. Oh, it's dark here, too. Alright, that's kind of scary. Oh man, I had no idea where I was there. I knew landing on that ghost was probably bad news, but I wasn't sure how bad. I don't have to actually go back down here, right? No, I don't think so. Did I not pick that up before? Huh, I wonder if that's always there. After you die. Oh, jeez. Alright, gotta be more careful this time. Um, and that money is probably gone. I'd actually like to kill this ghost. Got some of it. Where's the rest? Yeah, there's no way. That money is gone. That's unfortunate, but I did get some extra from Pride More um, since I, I went back to it, so. That is okay. Alright, I definitely know this section. Good. Okay, crushed him. Oh, that's. Probably not what I wanted to do. Another health tonic? Oh, okay, this will just come up. I didn't realize it would do that, actually. Get rid of you, frog. That wasn't so bad. Alright, get darkness again and spikes. See something up to the right? There's a beetle here. Got him. Gotta be something up here. There's some breakable blocks. In fact, I bet this would be a good time for float casing. Oh, I think I need... How do I do this? 
I need that frog to come on here with me. Do I? Is that... Yeah. He's got himself trapped there now, though. Alright, so I need to aggro this frog, have him come over here with me. Come here, froggy. Thank. Plus, I'm thinking about this wrong. Oh, okay, I just need... Got it. Easier said than done in the dark, for sure. That's a bunch of money that I just missed. Down we go. Actually, I should probably switch back to, uh, normal bombs. The thing I liked about the flow casing is, uh, when they hit ceilings, they just, they drop out of the casing. Come back down anyway. Oh, that's a bomb. You know what? Let's, uh, heal up a little bit. Uh, ah, Chester, there we go. I knew he had to be around here somewhere. Grab all this stuff, then we'll go back to Chester here. He's gonna give us another magic, which would be very nice. Yep, Chester's always got the swag. Sure. Beach liquid. Replenish your energy by damaging energy. Enemies. Ooh, I like the sound of that. So it gives us like a buff for a little while. Uh, can we respawn these frogs? Yeah, I definitely want to try this out. It does take a full magic bar, though. Oh yeah, that is awesome. Oh, this might be my favorite magic already. This is fantastic. Let's drink another... Of course, I'm taking a lot of damage from this frog here. Slippery buggers. Yeah, that's that's awesome, actually. Right, do we have any more dark places here? I can't remember. I think we need this frog. Maybe we don't. Maybe we just need this helmet. There was once a way to get rid of the frogs, but maybe if I, uh, no. Alright, we got a skeleton here. I'm gonna blow you up first. You're gonna come down here. There's a fishing spot there, too. Oh, it's goldfish, nice. That's weird. Do we have to go up and over? How do we get in there? Oh, hidden floor. It does take a second to drink that, so you gotta be a little careful when you use it, too. Oh man, against like high health targets, though, that is incredible. Yeah, I don't know how to get those. There must be a false floor somewhere. You were still there, Froggy. Oh, I knocked him over the pit, I think. Yeah, let's see. Let's go fishing. 
Very dangerous here. It's health time. Oh, oh, oh. Ahem. <clears throat> yeah. I should be able to recover that stuff, though. One of those is a lot of money, too. These frogs are really, really tough in the dark. There we go, we go. Get this one at a time. There we go. Have to go on this platform. Green coin. Skeletons on these platforms, I think. Kill that one. Alright, there's a... I don't want to knock that off entirely. Oh. There's another green coin. Okay, got that ghost. Whew, through that section. In fact, this might be the boss now. Uh, if it is, I'll heal up. Oh yeah, it's definitely Spectre Knight. Reaper meets Reaper. We are no kindred spirit. What have you come to harvest, foolish alchemist? If only you could see me yawning under this mask. Ooh, spooky ghost. Mask indeed. As befits a hollow, blustering fool, you hide only from yourself. Ooh, cut deep. How tragic that you shall never emerge from cowardice, for here your story must end. Alright, we're gonna drink all of these. Uh, I'm gonna go bullet burst. Uh, might go float casing, actually. And get our leech liquid ready. Alright. So we can probably hit from pretty far away here with the, uh, man, he is tough. Let's actually drink up here. I don't think we get any invincibility frames while we're drinking, so... Arc might actually even be better than... Oh yeah, that is a ton of damage right there. I'm actually just kind of using like regular bomb throwing mechanics. There we go. Oh, that was awesome. That went really, really well. All right, we got another essence. And a lot of money. <laughs> She's dancing around. She has no partner to dance with. I wonder if she used to. Oh, I didn't realize I could come down here on my own. Here, I'm just, I didn't want to interrupt her. Oh, we've embarrassed her. Mona, what were you doing in here? How long were you watching? You operated my tar glyphs unsupervised. I, I just dropped in. I barely saw anything. Come on, I'm not some creep. 
Well, I guess the charade is up. Yeah, I dance down here all the time by myself. Big deal. By yourself? That doesn't sound like fun. Well, whatever. I don't see anyone rushing to join me. I'm used to the solitude by now. Wish I could help you there, but, uh, you know, two left feet and all. Yeah, it's no big deal. Anyway. Aw. Oh, come on. These two gotta get together, right? Spectre Knight has given up the ghost. Oh, God, that's awful. Great. I needed to swing by the Lich Yard and scrape up some ectoplasm later. Fantastic. Your face. You look different. Is something the matter? Silly, I'm smiling. <laughs> oh, by the way, you can swig with this health potion I made for you. Maybe it'll help. Ooh. Oh, nice, we get a max health increase. All right, so let's do some research. Okay, I have a bunch of new toys designed. 60 Cypher Coins, got it. New Arsenal, all right, so we got the uh, Orbit Casing. Spins around you and even pierces through walls. Luster powder rapidly forms several explosions. Remote fuse. Frost burst. Dropping ice shards below. I like the idea of orbit casing. Um, we'll halt on the rest for the moment. Check that out here. Uh, let's see. Oh, that is... I really dig that, actually. It's basically like the shield weapon from uh, Mega Man. The question I have is, is, can I replace them as they explode? Seems like I can only do the three until they're all gone. So that's something to keep in mind. Let's see if she's got anything new here. Um, just that magic upgrade. Can do this. Two sheets of paper, yep. Means we unlocked a new musical thing there. Songs you have now, Flowers, Pentamony, and Timony, Waltz for me. Oh, song but so lonely. Alright. Oh, I never noticed before that it actually turns off the music entirely. Let's uh, let's just check out a little shopping bit here, and then uh, maybe we'll get the frost burst. Yeah, I like the ideas of those uh, those bigger bombs, but the component powder might actually be really good because it still allows me three bombs. It's just they can also combine. I have no health tonics either. I might want to actually buy those. Oh, look at that. Huh, interesting. Um, do I want to buy health tonics? No, I don't think so. I mean, I'm full up on health right now. So uh, that will do it for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Do click like. Helps out a lot. Subscribe if you want to see more. See you soon.